All right, so after two million years, I'm finally doing that Sage Mode video that everybody wanted. Woohoo! Let's get started. Sage Mode has been used on many occasions throughout the series, but it made its debut in Jiraiya's Battle with Pain, or more specifically in Naruto Chapter 375. If I make one thing clear in this video, it needs to be that Sage Mode is no joke. Even when using an imperfect form of Sage Mode, Jiraiya managed to give Pain a run for his money, and when using a perfected form of Sage Mode, Naruto managed to take out five paths of Pain by himself. Kabuto's Sage Mode allowed him to take on Sasuke and Itachi at the same time with ease, and Hashirama's Sage Mode allowed him to outclass Madara when using the perfect Susano. So yeah, believe me when I say, Sage Mode is ridiculous. The thing that makes Sage Mode so powerful is that it's more than just a power-up. See, while normal Chakra users only have access to spiritual energy and physical energy, Sage Mode users have access to a third component of Chakra, that being natural energy. This third Chakra component makes a lot more of a difference than you may think. For someone without access to natural energy, it's almost impossible to comprehend what it must feel like to have it. It's almost like trying to imagine what having a sixth sense would feel like. It's not easy to wrap your head around it. So, needless to say, this adds a completely new aspect to battle that most shinobi have little to no understanding of, which in turn gives Sage Mode users a massive advantage in combat. This new aspect that I'm referring to is Senjutsu, or Sage Jutsu. Senjutsu gives a person access to Senjutsu Chakra, or Sage Chakra, and Sage Chakra does two things. It powers up existing techniques, regardless of whether they're Ninjutsu, Taijutsu, or Genjutsu, and it allows a user of Sage Mode access to completely new Senjutsu techniques. Now before I get into the perks of Senjutsu techniques, let me back it up and talk about how Sage Mode enhances a person's existing capabilities. At its core, Sage Mode is a power-up, and it is a very, very, very good one at that. It makes everything about a person significantly better. Not only are their Taijutsu, Genjutsu, and Ninjutsu techniques made significantly more powerful, but in addition, all of their physical capabilities are amplified as well. While this alone would be impressive enough on its own, Sage Mode also enhances a person's sensory capabilities. In essence, these heightened senses allow a user of Sage Mode to see things without actually needing to look at them. The best example of this was Madara's complete and total awareness of everything around him after he'd taken Hashirama's Sage Chakra, despite his total blindness. Madara was able to react flawlessly to every attack thrown at him from all directions, despite the fact that he couldn't see! The heightened senses provided by Sage Mode are more important than you might think they are. Increased sensory capabilities make it easier to react to things more quickly, which thereby makes it easier to take advantage of Sage Mode's increased speed. Being more in tune with one's body makes it easier to gauge how much force one is putting into their attacks, which makes it easier for a Sage Mode user to take advantage of Sage Mode's increased strength. I think you get the idea. Additionally, as I mentioned earlier, users of Sage Mode have access to techniques that non-Senjutsu users don't. While these techniques vary based on where a person learned to use Sage Mode from, they all incorporate natural energy in one way or another. In the cases of people who learn how to use Sage Mode from Mount Miyaboku, like Jiraiya, Naruto, and Minato, this ability is Frog Kata. Frog Kata essentially takes the natural energy being used to create Senjutsu Chakra and makes it into an aura that surrounds the user's body. This aura can be used for various reasons and can't be seen by anybody, even people with eyes as advanced as the Rinnegan, unless they have access to Sage Mode themselves. With this aura of natural energy, it's possible to amplify the force and increase the range of physical attacks, which Naruto did on multiple occasions during his battle with Pain. In the case of Shinobi who learn how to use Sage Mode at Ryuchi Cave, like Kabuto, they gain the ability to use Sage Art in Organic Reincarnation. This ability is really cool, and it sucks that Kabuto was the only character who got to use it. The fundamentals of the ability involve a user of it injecting natural energy into the area around them, and thereby using that natural energy to control otherwise inorganic objects. In simpler terms, it allows a person to control the terrain. This essentially turns nature into an extension of a person's physical attacks, and can be used to attack somebody from anywhere, regardless of the position of the user of the ability. Gaining access to Sage Mode is incredibly difficult, though, and this is reflected in how rare the ability is. Only six human characters have mastered the ability to use Sage Mode, and three of them were Hokage. The difficulty of learning how to use Sage Mode doesn't stem directly from the ability itself, though. One of the main reasons Sage Mode is so hard to acquire is that finding someone who's able to teach it is almost impossible. The only beings capable of teaching Shinobi how to use Sage Mode properly all live in secret locations like Mount Miyaboku and Ryuchi Cave that can 
only be accessed, generally anyway, by being reverse summoned there. It is possible to find these locations on foot, but they are intentionally well hidden so things like this do not happen. However, since all of the inhabitants of all of these areas are summoning animals, it's possible to enter one of these places by being in good graces with an animal that one has a summoning contract with. Anyway, even if a shinobi can gain access to one of these secret locations, learning how to use Sage Mode isn't easy. As a matter of fact, even after all of the training he received to do so, and after all of the battle experience he has using it, Jiraiya still hasn't fully mastered Sage Mode, so that speaks volumes about the difficulty of using the technique. Despite its difficulty, the process for learning how to use Sage Mode is a very simple one, since all it involves is just sitting still. Sitting perfectly still without moving a single muscle, which, believe me, is a lot more difficult than it sounds, opens up a person's body for the intake of natural energy, and as I explained at the beginning of the video, natural energy is what Sage Mode draws a lot of its abilities from. Another layer of difficulty is added by the fact that the natural energy taken in by the user has to be balanced perfectly. If a person doesn't take in enough natural energy, then they just simply won't enter Sage Mode, and if they take in too much natural energy, they will be turned into whatever animal they're learning Sage Mode from. But despite the risks and difficulty of learning how to use Sage Mode, I definitely say that it's well worth it considering everything the ability offers. And with that said, that's gonna do it for me. Hope you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to leave a like, maybe subscribe if you want to see when I upload new videos, and uh, yeah, if you do, hopefully I'll see See you next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll see you later. Swag Kage out. Bye.